So the toadstool, I believe, is one of the most underrated, untalked about corals that's on the market today. Hey guys, welcome to another video by Artistic Reefs. Today I just want to talk about uh, a coral I think is very much unappreciated and not talk about enough. And that's the um, polyp toadstools. Um, whenever we talk about corals, we always talk about zoas, hammers, and torches. But we never even talk about toadstools and how beautiful they really are. Um, they're perfect for a beginner uh, aquarium. Um, I've had these ever since the beginning of my aquarium. So on week two, I had these in my aquarium. Um, so they've been with me ever since and they've grown quite large. Um, they're considered a soft coral, uh, prefer low light and medium uh, flow. Um, what I've noticed with the light per se is um, the lower the spectrum of light, the more the polyps want to come, extend their tentacles, which is kind of cool. Um, they come in varieties of colors. Um, this one's the green one. They come in white, pinkish, some reddish colors. Um, and one of the unique things about the, the, these corals, they grow like a mushroom. So they provide actually cover for fish underneath them, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you guys are thinking about starting a brand new aquarium, you know, a nano aquarium for the very first time, please consider the toadstools. You won't be disappointed. Um, they grow fast. Like I said, they uh, provide pr plenty of cover for fish underneath them. And they're very graceful and uh, current, as you can see here, guys. Um, and I, you know, like I said at the introduction, I think this is one of the most underappreciated corals out there and not talked about enough. Um, but I want to put this on time lapse and just see from when it's not showing its polyps to when it's showing its polyps. So one of the unique things about the toadstools that people don't really understand is um, when they're not showing their polyps. So there's two main reasons why they don't show their polyps. Number one is because they are actually shedding their outer layer of skin so they can grow. And this is quite normal. Um, the other re uh, reason they might be not showing their polyps is because they might be irritated by something. So if you rubbed up against them, their polyps will retract, and this is quite normal. But the main reason is is that they're uh, shedding their outer skin, and once they the polyps come back up, um, they become more beautiful than ever. Um, my toadstools do it at least once a day for about 45 minutes and it's mostly common in the morning before the light turns on. Um, but it's not uncommon for toadstools to have show no polyps for several days at a time. And it's nothing to be alarmed about. It's quite normal when it comes to toadstools. Just wanted to give you guys a top-down view of my toadstools and give you a perspective on how large they really are and how graceful their polyps sway in the current. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe button so you can keep up to date on our latest videos. Until next time, guys. Have a good one.